Welcome back. We can continue our integration part 4. First question. Integral minus 100 to plus 100. F of x dx is equal to dash. Four choice is there. First choice. Minus 100 to plus 100 f of x dx. Second choice. Minus 100 to plus 100 f of minus x square dx. Third choice. Minus 100 to plus 100 f of 1 by x dx. Fourth choice. Minus 100 to 100 f of minus x dx. f of minus x dx. Okay. Here, minus 100 to plus 100 f of x dx equal to dash. We have studied this portion in theory class. Integral a to b f of x dx equal to integral a to b f of a plus b minus x dx. That is the property of integration. Then, integral minus 100 to plus 100 f of x dx is equal to integral minus 100 to plus 100 f of a, a means minus 100, b plus 100 minus x into dx. Okay, that is minus 100 to plus 100, minus 100 plus 100 becomes 0 or we can cancel that result equal to f of minus 6 dx. Okay, therefore our choice or option is b. Okay, yes, first and second question. Okay, read the second question. Integral 0 to 1. Integral 0 to 1. X. X. E raised to X square. E raised to X square. DX. DX. Then choice. First choice. 1 by 2. 1 by 2. Second choice. E minus 1. E minus 1. The whole by 2. E minus 1 by 2. Mm. Third choice. Mm. E plus 1. Mm. The whole by 2. Mm. Fourth choice. Mm. 2e plus 1, 2e plus 1, the whole by 2. Whole by 2. See, <coughs> integral 0 to 1, x e raised to x square dx. Here, I am going multiply 2 on this sides and dividing by 2. Multiply and dividing. Then, 1 by 2 out of 0 to 1, 2x e raised to x square dx. Okay. Then, 2x is the derivative of x square. 2x is the derivative of x square. P u is equal to 2 x square then du is equal to 2x dx. Okay, 2x dx. Then substitute this image. When x is equal to 0, u is equal to 0. When x is equal to 1, u is also equal to 1. Okay. So half into integral 0 to 1, e raised to u du. Half into 2x dx means du, e raised to u du. Integral of e raised to u equal to e raised to u. Then apply the limit 0 to 1, that is half into upper limit e raised to 1 minus lower limit at e raised to 0. That is half into e raised to 1 means e, e raised to 0 equal to 1. That is e minus 1 by 2, our option is b. Ready? Pass to the third question. Okay, read this. If integral 0 to a If integral 0 to a f of 2a minus x 2a minus x dx dx equal to m equal to m and, and integral 0 to a integral 0 to a f of x dx equal to f of x dx equal to x x then n m so it is n m then Integral 0 to 2a. Integral 0 to 2a. F of x dx. F of x dx equal to dash. First choice. 2m plus n. 2m plus n. Second choice. Second choice. M plus 2n. M plus 2n. Third one. M minus n. M minus n. Fourth one. M plus n. M plus n. Given integral 0 to a. F of 2a minus x dx is equal to m and integral 0 to a f of x dx is equal to n then what is the value of integral 0 to 2a f of x dx this answer is very simple here we have to apply the property of a definite integral the property of linear text this is explained integral 0 to 2a f of x dx is equal to we can write integral 0 to a 
f of x dx plus inverse zero to a f of two a minus x dx. This portion is also with this kind in class. That is inverse zero to two a f of x dx equal to zero to a f of x dx plus zero to a f of two a minus x dx. Zero to a f of x dx equal to a and zero to a f of two a minus x dx equal to a. So the answer is equal ten plus m or we can write m plus m. Option is D. Okay. Ready. Yes. Tell me next question. Integral zero to pi by two. Integral zero to pi by two. One by. One by. Three plus two cos x. Three plus two cos x. Dx. Dx. Choice. Tan inverse one by root five. Tan inverse one by root five. Two tan inverse one by root five. Two in tan inverse one by root five. Two by root five into. Two by root five into. Tan inverse one by root five. One by root five. Last choice. Log three. Log three. Okay. See, integral zero to pi by two. One by three plus two cos x equal to. First choice, tan inverse of one by root two pi. Second choice, two tan inverse one by root two pi. Third choice, two by root two pi tan inverse one by root two pi. Last choice, log three. Here. For integrating this function, we have to apply the property of a trigonometric. That is, cos theta. Or we, first of all, we have to start. Let x is equal to u equal to tan theta by two. Then cos x is equal to by trigonometric identity, we can write cos x equal to one minus tan square x by two by one plus tan square x by two. Tan square x by two. Cos two theta means one minus tan square theta by 1 plus tan square theta. Here, cos x equal to 1 minus tan square x by 2 by 1 plus tan square x by 2. So put u equal to tan x by 2. Put u equal to tan x by 2. Then du equal to 6 square x by 2 into 1 by 2 into dx. Okay, that is cross multiplying. 2 du equal to 6 square x by 2. 6 square theta minus tan square theta equal to 1. Therefore, c square x by two equal to one plus tan square x by two into dx. Actually, tan x by two equal to u one. So this is equal to one plus u square. That is two by one plus u square du equal to dx. Okay. So instead of dx, we can write two by one plus u square into du. And similarly, we can change this limit when x is equal to zero. When x is equal to zero. When x equal to zero, u equal to tan zero equal zero. Similarly, when x is equal to pi by two, then u equal to tan pi by four. Tan pi by four is equal to one. When x is equal to zero, u equal to zero. When x equal to pi by two, u equal to tan pi by four, which is equal to one. So we can write this is equal to in, in integral of zero to pi by two, one uh, by three plus two cos x. Zero to pi by two, one by three plus two cos x dx equal to integral zero to one, one by three plus two into this is equal to one minus u square by one plus u square because tan x by two equal to so cos x equal to two into one minus u square by one plus u square. Okay, and dx dx is equal to two du divided by one plus u square. Okay, here uh, one by three plus two cos x. Instead of cos x, I can write this value one minus u square by one plus u square, and dx is equal to two du divided by one plus u square. Okay, take it Celsius. That is one integral of zero to one. Now uh, one divided by three into one plus u square plus. 2 into 1 minus u square whole divided by 1 plus u square into 2 du divided by 1 plus u square. Okay, we can cancel these terms. So this result equal to integral integral 0 to 
2 divided by 3 plus 3 u square, 2 minus 2 u square, 3 plus 2, 5. Okay, 3 into 1, 3, 2 into 1, 2, 3 plus 2, 5. 3 u square minus 2 u square, 3 u square minus 2 u square equal to plus u square d. Okay, take 2 as a common term, 0 to 1, 1 by 1 by uh, root to 5, the whole square plus u square into d. Okay, integral of 1 by a square plus x square equal to 1 by a tan inverse x by a. 1 by a square plus x square equal to 1 by a tan inverse x by a. So, 2 by root to 5, 1 by a, a means root to 5, tan inverse of x by a, root u divided by root to 5. Apply the limit, 0 to 1. That is, 2 by root to 5 into tan inverse of 1 by root to 5 minus tan inverse of 0. Okay, tan inverse of 0 means 0. So, the final answer is 2 tan inverse 1 by root to 5 divided by root to 5. Our option is 2 by root to 5, tan inverse 1 by root to 5, that is C is our option. Okay. Here we have to substitute cos x is equal to, for integrating this function, we have to substitute cos x equal to 1 minus tan square x by 2, 1 plus tan square x by 2. We are u equal to tan x by 2, then cos x becomes as 1 minus u square by 1 plus u square. Okay. So, then substitute this limit and also we get to integrate the function, then we will get the result 2 by root of 5 into tan inverse of 1 by root of 5. If it is sin x, we have to write 2 tan x by 2 by 1 plus tan square x by 2. 2 tan x by 2 by 1 plus tan square x by 2. Okay. Ready? Yes, read the next question, please. Integral 0 to pi by 2. Integral 0 to pi by 2. Sin 2x by. Sin 2x by. Sin raised to 4x. Sin raised to 4x. Plus cos raised to 4x. Cos raised to 4x. Dx. Dx. You have a choice. First choice. Pi by 4. Pi by 4. Second choice. Pi by 2. Pi by 2. Pi. Pi. 1. Given integral of 0 to pi by 2 sin 2x divided by sin raised to 4x plus cos raised to 4x dx. Integral 0 to pi by 2 sin 2x by sin raised to 4x plus cos raised to 4x. Here put u equal to sin square x. Put u equal to sin square x. Then du equal to 2 sin x cos x dx. By trigonometric identity, 2 sin theta cos theta equal to sin 2 theta. Then 2 sin x cos x equal to sin 2x dx. Okay, d u equal to sin 2x dx. Change the limiter. When x is equal to 0, u equal to sin square 0, 0. When x equal to pi by 2, u equal to sin square pi by 2, sin pi by 2 dot square. The value of sin pi by 2, 1, pi by 2 or square equal to 1. That means sin square pi by 2 is equal to 1. x equal to 0, u equal to 0. x equal to pi by 2, u equal to 1. Okay. Then integral 0 to pi by 2. Sin 2x divided by sin raised to 4x plus we know that sin square theta plus cos square theta equal to 1. Then cos raised to 4x. Cos raised to 4x means cos square x the whole square. Cos square x means 1 minus sin square x the whole square. 1 minus sin square x means 1 minus u the whole square because u equal to sin square x. For sin raised to 4x plus instead of cos raised to 4x means we can write 1 minus sin square x the whole square into dx means sin 2x dx equal to du. Okay. Or we can write sin 2x sin 2x dx. Okay. For 0 right to pi by 2, sin 2x by sin raised to 4x plus cos raised to 4x means 1 minus sin square x the whole square into dx. Change the value. That is 0 right to pi by 2 means it becomes as 0 to 1. Okay. So, next time, 
1 by sin raise to power x means u square. Sin square x equal to u. Sin raise to power x u square. And 1 minus u the whole square into sin dx dx is equal to d. Okay. Expand this yeah, by using algebraic identity. Integral 0 to 1. 1 divided by u square plus 1 minus 2u plus u square into du. Okay. u square plus u square equal to 2 u square. 1 by 2 u square minus 2 u plus 1 du. Okay. For 1 by u square plus u square equal to 2 u square minus 2 u plus 1. Then integral 0 to 1 du divided by take 2 as a common term. That is 2 out of u square minus u plus 1 by 2. Make it as a perfect square. That is u square u square minus u u square minus u plus half equal to u square. Change the half of the coefficient of u 1 by 2 and take it square 1 by 4. That is u minus 1 by 2 1 by 4 1 by 4 and minus 1 by 4 and minus u plus half. Okay. That is u minus 1 by 2 u the whole square u minus 1 by 2 the whole square u square 1 by 2 whole square 1 by 4 minus 2u 2u equal to u sorry expand this term becomes as u square minus 1 by 2u 2u not 2ab that is equal to 2u into 1 by 2 equal to u and this minus 1 by 2 the whole square that is equal to 1 by 4 okay and again plus 1 by 2 1 by 4 plus 1 by 2 equal to we can write this is equal to uh, u square 3 by 4 1 plus 2 3 by 4 take the half yes pindles take 2 as a common term 2 out of u square minus u plus half then convert into a perfect square form that is u square minus u plus half equal to u square minus u Take the coefficient of u minus 1 and the take is half minus 1 by 2 and find out its square plus 1 by 4. Adding and subtracting the term 1 by 4 minus 1 by 4 plus 1 by 2. For half of the coefficient of u and squaring on both sides 1 by 4 minus 1 by 4 plus 1 by 2. This becomes as u square minus u plus 1 by 4 equal to u minus 1 by 2 the whole square. A square minus 2ab plus b square. And again, minus 1 by 4 plus 1 by 2. Minus 1 by 4 plus 1 by 2 equal to minus 1 plus 2 by 4 equal to plus 1 by 4 equal to 1 by 2 all square. Minus 1 by 4 plus 1 by 2 equal to 1, 1, this is equal to 2. Minus 1 plus 2 equal to 1 by 4 equal to 1 by 2 all square. So, we can write integral 0 to 1 du divided by 2 into u square minus u plus half equal to u minus 1 by 2 the whole square plus half the whole square. Okay. Ready? Yes. Then the remaining portion take 1 by 2 as a common term. That is 1 by 2 out of integral 0 to 1 du divided by 1 by 2 the whole square plus u minus half whole square. 1 by a square plus x square equal to 1 by a tan inverse x by a 1 by a 1 by 2 tan inverse x by a u minus 1 by 2 by a 1 by 2 1 by a square plus x square equal to 1 by a tan inverse x by a apply the limit 0 to 1 this 2 and 2 cancel equal to tan inverse of 2u minus 1 by 2 divided by 1 by 2 up this limit 0 to 1. 2 and 2 cancel. Apply the limit. 2 into 1, 2. 2 minus 1, 1. But tan inverse 1. Minus tan inverse of minus 1. Okay. 2 into 1, 2. Minus 1, 1. So put to 0. 2 into 0. 0 minus 1, minus 1. Tan inverse minus 1 equal to minus tan inverse 1. That is tan inverse 1 plus tan inverse 1. Tan inverse 1 pi by 4. Tan inverse 1 pi by 4. That is 2 pi by 4 which is equal to pi by 2. So our choice is B. Answer B.
Okay. Integral 0 to pi by 2. Integral 0 to pi by 2. Cos x by. Cos x by. 1 plus sin x. 1 plus sin x. Into. Into. 2 plus sin x. 2 plus sin x. Dx. Dx. Integral 0 to pi by 2. Cos x divided by 1 plus sin x into 2 plus sin x and dx. Given choice. Plus. Log 3 by 4. Log 3 by 4. Log 4 by 3. Log 4 by 3. Log 4. Log 4. Pi by 2. D pi by 2. First choice. Log of 3 by 4. Second choice. Log 4 by 3. Third choice. Log 4. And the last choice. Pi by 2. Okay. Windows so, zero to pi by 2. Cos x divided by 1 plus sin x into 2 plus sin x and dx. For integrating this function, we have to do substitution. Put a u equal to sin x. Then du equal to cos x dx. Change the units. When x equal to 0, u equal to 0. When x equal to pi by 2, u is also equal to pi by 2. But when x is equal to pi by 2, then u equal to sin pi by 2. Sin and is equal to 1. Then integral 0 to 1. 1 divided by 1 plus u into 2 plus u into du. Instead of cos x dx, I can write du sin x u sin x u. 1 plus u into 2 plus u. You can integrate this function by using partial fraction method or rearrange the term. That is, I am going to rearrange the term. 0 to 1, 2 plus u minus 1 plus u divided by 1 plus u into 2 plus u du. Okay. You can, uh, in the, for integrating this function, you first you can apply any method means by using partial partial method. By using partial partial method, 1 by a plus b, 1 a plus b into c plus b equal to a by a, a by a plus b plus b by c plus b, that methods you can apply. Or you can rearrange the term, 0 to 1, 2 plus u minus 1 plus u by 1 plus u into 2 plus u. See, 2 minus 1, 1. U and you cancel, therefore numerator becomes us 1 by uh, numerator becomes 1 of this both are equal to 2 plus u minus 1 by 1 plus u. Or another method means by partial partial method that is 1 by x plus a into x plus b is equal to a divided by x plus a plus b divided by x plus b. Take its LCM and simplify, then you will get the values of a and b and resubstituting, then also you get the same answer. Okay. Here apply the method. Then a minus b splitting the term that is integral 0 to 1 2 plus u by 1 plus u into 2 plus u b okay minus integral 0 to 1 1 plus u divided by 1 plus u into 2 plus u b okay that is 2 plus u by 1 plus u into 2 plus u minus integral 0 to 1 1 plus u by 1 plus u into 2 plus u we can cancel this 2 plus u. Then this becomes as 0 to 1, 1 by 1 plus u. Here also we can cancel 1 plus u. Then remaining term 1 by 2 plus u. Integral of 1 by a. Integral of 1 by x equal to log x. Integral of 1 by x equal to log x. For log of 1 plus u. Log of 1 plus u. And the next same limit we can integrate both types. That is minus log of 2 plus u log of 2 plus u okay common limit 0 to 1 1 by u plus 1 by 1 plus u log u log 1 by 2 plus u log 2 plus u log a minus log b equal to log of a by b 1 plus u by 2 plus u by the property of in logarithm log a minus log b equal to log a by b equal to 0 to 1 apply the upper limit 1 plus 1 2 by 2 plus 1 3 minus log into 0 log of 1 plus 0 1 2 plus 0 2 log a minus log b log a by b that is log of a by b equal to 2 by 3 divided by 1 by 2 is equal to log of 4 by 3 okay so choice is b
okay